Hello and welcome back to my channel. Every time I do that. <laughs> Hello and welcome. As you can see, we have a very different setup today. I am in my garden. Basically, I tried filming this in my actual kitchen and like the lighting's dead, like the angle, I couldn't get behind the stove. It's just, it was all long. So I thought, why not make it like a little cookout situation? Um, I saw people like Coyle Ray doing this as well and I love Coyle Ray. This shit tastes like God made it himself. And she was just kicking outside with nature and I was like, I'll have a bit of that please. I hope I don't regret my decision because I will square up to a fly. I, I don't like nature. I, I don't like nature. But um, just have to hope. Also my neighbours are going to think that I'm crazy but you know, I'm sure Bob will understand. Okay. What are you talking about at this time? I don't understand. Hopefully they stay away from me because I'm also just like a little... Lo <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully they stay away from me because I'm really scared. Okay, cool. So, as we know, all my fat girls out there that is fine, ambitious and talented, we're all trying to get healthier, both physically and mentally. So I thought I'd come at you guys with a couple healthy snack recipes that I found. These are all ideas that I found on like TikTok, because that's what like the kids are using or whatever. So I thought I'd have a go. And whilst looking, I'm not gonna lie, like the recipes were very dead. Like they were very, it wasn't really there was like no seasoning in a lot of the savory dishes which is why i'm doing like all dessert type recipes today i don't know we're just gonna see how it goes so rude of me um i didn't even welcome you to my restaurant uh bonjour uh, uh welcome to my restaurant i like to call it a uh, restaurant a la ghetto i don't know if you'll understand that because it's actually in french but um that's what it's called it's a five-star Michelin restaurant. Gordon Ramsay actually just came the other night. Good old Gordon. I don't, I don't want to get rid of things that I enjoy or just not like have things that I enjoy, but if I can find a healthier way to have them, that's a bonus, I think. So I also wanted to try out some new stuff because there's a lot of stuff that these like healthy bloggery type people eat that I've never even tried before. So the first thing that we're gonna cook today is, so it's this thing called chia pudding. I'll probably put a video of it. Two teaspoons of chia seeds, half a cup of dairy or dairy-free milk, one teaspoon maple syrup, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and stir that all together. Let this sit for 10 minutes, it will start to thicken, and then cover and place this in the fridge for an hour. And dig in. Okay. She's American, so she's using like cups and stuff, and we don't have that. So I'm, um, I'm gonna be like, how many tablespoons is a cup? Maybe that will be more useful. Okay, this one's quite easy. So it's these chia seed things. So, um, I don't know what they do. Good for cholesterol, apparently. Hi, yeah, yeah, cool. Um, I think I've had chia seeds before, like in a yogurt or whatever. I don't remember them tasting like a lot, so <laughs> I'm not too. These look like ants. I'm not gonna lie; like it's actually making me feel a bit sick. Um, okay, and then it's. So she said half a cup, which is... Eight tablespoons of this. And this is soy milk, because almond milk is dutty, like it's disgusting. Eight. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I'm cooking. Mom, it's not ready yet, okay? Good cooking takes time. So this is chia pudding. Okay, mum, you don't know. It's like really healthy and stuff. <laughs> it looks disgusting. 
Yes. <laughs> this, oh, this is just looking so delicious. I can't, I just can't wait to tuck in. Okay, okay, no, for real. No, I'll show you the finished product. It's gonna be mwah. It's gonna be mwah. Anyway, back to the chia pudding. This looks mmm, delectable. Stupendous. So delicious. Delicious. Okay, and then the recipe also says one tablespoon of maple syrup, but I don't have that, so I'm gonna put honey instead. Cool. Doo -doo -doo. Yum. Oh my god, this is a disaster. Okay, so that's the honey. This is not going how I planned it in my head. This is, oh my god, it's like changing. <sighs> okay, and then it also says vanilla extract. I feel like this stuff crawling. Oh my god. So half a teaspoon of that. Okay. Cool. It's so sticky. Let's see if you can see that. Can you see that? Can you? That's the first stage. <clears throat> so now apparently I leave it for 10 minutes and then it should get like all thick. Let's just leave that to the side, shall we? We can do that right now, cool. Okay, the next recipe, hopefully this will be a bit less disgusting. Which one should we do first? You know what, we're gonna do these like banana egg pancake situations. So I've actually seen this recipe like a lot, like not even just on TikTok. It's basically pancakes, but the only ingredients are banana and egg. Oh, and cinnamon. So I don't really know how it's gonna turn out, but I guess we're gonna see. One banana and two eggs. My hands are clean, by the way. Wash your hands. Corona is still here. Koro Koro is here. Um, this is technically compost, isn't it? So I can just... Anyway, okay. Need a fork. Mash that up, mash that up. So when I was actually looking for these recipes, it kind of reminded me of my food tech days. So if you're not from um, the UK, that's kind of like, it's food tech, like it's food technology. It's where we would learn about food and where we would kind of cook food as well at school. I don't know if they have that in America actually, but it just got me thinking I did not learn anything in food tech like I'm sure we should have learned about nutrition or like stuff like that and all I remember is making some soup with cranberries in it it actually made me laugh because it was like if all you're teaching me to make is soup with cranberries why would I not be fat why would I not go to the chicken and chip shop if you want me to eat soup with cranberries like it <sighs> I feel like the government should do something about that. Ooh, wow. I feel like if I knew, if I and so many other people knew about nutrition and stuff when we were younger, I feel like it would make for a lot healthier eating decisions and just generally healthier eating styles. You're less likely to listen to all the fad diets and all the like basic lies about food, like the whole good food, bad food thing. You need to be educated on what's good and what's good for you, not necessarily what's good. Look how slick she is with it. Like I just, I didn't choose to be a chef. Do you know what I mean? Like it just, some people are just born with it and some people aren't and I just am apparently like. Two seconds later. Okay, I don't want to say this again, but guys, it's not, it's not looking great. It, it's, that genuinely looks like sick. That genuinely looks like sick. I just, Maybe it's because I haven't added the cinnamon. Cinnamon is gonna save the day. It's, it's gonna save the day. <clears throat> okay. I'm really scared to use this. Oh, why is that smoky? Oh 
Oh my god, why is that smoky? <laughs> why is that smoky? I'm really not trying to set the garden on fire. <sighs> I don't know why that's smoky. Okay, we'll just... We'll just put that there. Okay. I don't want this to smoke again. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for that to get hot, then put the pan on. And then we can just put that straight on. What is that? What is that? Okay. Cinnamon, cinnamon. I feel like I'm getting really distracted. Is that enough? I don't know. I'm gonna put, yeah, I'm gonna put coconut oil. Oh, that's probably too much. I don't want this video to make it seem like I'm not a good cook. I'm, I'm, as I said, a Michelin star chef. But um, these are not recipes I know or... I think that's fine. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I'm more of a savoury girl as well. Like I, I can cook a mean lasagna, jollof. I can cook pretty much anything, but when it comes to sweets, I'm not the most knowledgeable i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put it in there you know and we're just gonna hope for the best something's got to go right something has to go right okay so this is what we like to call in restaurants a spatula so we're just going to use this to flip our pancake okay i'm gonna move it this is not that is not ready to flip. It smells like it's burning, but it's also raw, if you see my issue. <laughs> I'm so sorry, look at this. <laughs> this looks, bot this looks bottom barrel, like bottom barrel, this looks disgusting. I can smell the cinnamon now at least. Now, not to be dramatic, but this looks like hot, hot arsehole. This looks disgusting. Um, I'm getting very omelette from this, which I don't think I should be getting. It's... Let me get a bit closer. That doesn't look right. That doesn't look like a pancake. If this is what health is, I don't want any part in it because it's making me, it's making me sad, okay? I've got more batter for one more pancake. Let's see if we can do this one properly. Um, I've turned the heat down a bit, hopefully that helps. It's now at a number four. Okay, it's at a number four. I'm actually gonna spread this round. Okay, I'm gonna add it now actually, before it gets even hotter. I think the last one was too thick. That was the main problem. So the moment of truth, we're gonna flip the second banana pancake. This one looks a lot better. It looks, ooh. It looks a lot more pancakey, so that's promising. So I'm gonna try and flip it. I'm not gonna do any magical flip flip tricks or whatever, cause um, I don't think that'll go, oh, it's already tearing. It's already tearing. Okay. Ta-da! Flipped it. Flipped it. See how that looks way more pancake like. The last one was just. The last one was a mistake, but it's okay because even Michelin star chefs make mistakes. It's fine. Can you hear that sizzle? I can hear that sizzle. That is what you call perfection cooking. Um, I think this is done. Oh, it broke. Mmm. Oh, Yum. I won't lie to you, I'm not looking forward to tucking in, but we're gonna try it anyway because chefs have to try their own food. Um, I, I don't know, the texture. So it looks like you're enjoying yourself. Oh, yeah. The texture, <laughs> the texture. Um. Let me try it. No, it's a no from me. It's like, 
It's like an omelette and then there's banana pieces in it. Like I don't, come taste it. Okay, um, mum, would you like to try this gourmet banana pancake? Go what? Gourmet. <laughs> Yeah, that bit, that's a good bit. It's good, isn't it? Mm. So what what would you rate it out of 10? Eight. Really? Really? Mm. Do you like it? Mm. I guess, do. surprise mum, this is for you. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> So next on the agenda, we're gonna be cooking the healthy alternative to apple pie. So for this, you're gonna need some coconut oil, um, an apple, or more, depending on how much you wanna make. Um, cinnamon, maple syrup, but again, only have honey, and some oats, and that's it. First, we're gonna have to chop up the apple. Can I just say, I feel just like Rachel Ammer, especially with my dreadlocks, like, me and her are twins, both amazing chefs, um, both have dreadlocks, and um, yeah, this little core bit here, you're gonna wanna take that out. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna make one horizontal cut that way and another horizontal cut that way. And then, as you can see, you can literally just Oh my god. Okay, and as you can see, it will just pop out. The core will just pop out. There you go, Bob's your uncle. Now we're just gonna wanna chop these down even more. I mean, you can do it in any technique you want. This is just what they taught me in culinary school. So, you know, these are all different sizes, but that's okay. We all come in different shapes and sizes, and it's okay, because we're all beautiful, just like this apple, okay? We're going to add a bit of the coconut oil. Then, once that's a bit hot, we're going to wait. How are you? How, what's your day been like? Good? Good. So we're just going to put that in the pan. We're going to put... We're going to put the cinnamon. Cinnamon, next. Um, so now I'm gonna add some honey. Is that too hot? I feel like the pan's too hot. This one actually smells really nice. Okay, TikTok. This one looks all right. Smells really good. And then the final ingredient is just some oats. This is what we're working with. Oh my God, that was a bee. Guys, I don't like this nature stuff. I don't like this nature stuff. Okay. So this is the final product. That doesn't look half bad. And now I'm gonna taste it. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is, this is, yeah. This is Lamy Live approved. What was that? You need me in the kitchen, Gordon? Right now? What can I say? Gordon needs me in the kitchen, so I'm gonna have to go, but um, thanks for joining me on the first episode of Restaurant à la Ghetto. Um, I hope you found some... I was gonna say I hope you found some new recipes. I didn't find any new recipes, so how could you have found new recipes? Um, to be fair, that apple oat one, I would say I would recommend that one, try it out yourself. But I'm just gonna play it safe and say that TikTok is not the place for the best recipes. Uh, yeah, this was quite... 
traumatizing is the word I think but you need to be able to put yourself out there and you need to be able to go out on a whim so just try something new like it's not gonna kill you hopefully hopefully be careful don't quote me on that and this week maybe let's comment green hearts down below if you love me comment a green heart down below thank you so much for watching and last but not least the dish we've all been waiting for the chia seed pudding so this has been in the fridge for i want to say like an hour hour and a bit so it's got an extra thick oh my god that's what it looks like so i guess i'll dig in hmm. very in hmm. okay okay tadpoles go off but honestly i was expecting a lot worse i was expecting i was expecting to throw up so I'm with the strawberries, it, it tastes quick. <laughs> I get the hype, I do get the hype. And this must be, must have some health benefits or something, whatever. If you close your eyes, this could actually bang. Hmm. Chia seed pudding. Actually, I don't know why I'm surprised I am a gourmet chef after all. As I said before, um, the chef life did not choose me. Anyway, overall, I feel like this healthy eating thing can get like really obsessively very quickly so i think it's important to just like have fun with it because then you're more likely to stick with it and yeah try something new it's important to try new things i mean it's 2020 the world is ending the world will never be the same try what you want now before it's too late you know and um especially for my fat girls my fine ambitious and talented girls it's so important to put yourself out there because how are you going to be ambitious if you don't risk it every now and then you know um i'm waffling so i'm gonna go um but thank you so much for watching this video